you know, weirdly enough, it was actually plan A, what we did, which never really happens normally. I'm, I'm down in kind of plan C's, D's and E's, so it's, it's nice for plan A to be going so well so early. There's a couple of things that I would have changed if it was the perfect world, but, you know, as far as an Olympic final, from a mistake standpoint, it was very minimal mistakes. It's an odd one, I think, you know, if I was to guess at how my career was going to go, I thought maybe, you know, I was going to build my way up and, and get, you know, the big medal and, and, you know, then I didn't even think about what was going to happen afterwards and I was able to get the gold last year in, in Budapest and, and the World Championships and I felt like I was ready for another gold medal. I knew I was good enough last year to, to go out and, and win the, the major championships and, and, and then throughout this year I, I felt like I was pretty unbeatable throughout all 1500 and mile races that I was in and uh, you know I felt coming in I was in the best shape I could be in uh, I knew I could weather the storm with some fast you know first 800 splits I just know I can execute on big days the more pressure that's on me the, the more comfortable I feel so you know for me it's just making sure that I tell everyone my goals and, and then it means that I have to go out and do them and it puts the pressure on to, to go out and do it and I had such a great day and um, it's gonna you know it's gonna go down the memory bank for the rest of my life to be honest and yeah I think yeah that pressure helps helps me really focus in and dial in on what I'm doing and yeah I, lo I love that part of this game. I thought I'd have enough left in that last 100 to, to take the win but you know, I got beaten by someone that put in evidently a, a ton of work and, um, and and was able to, to come away with a gold medal. So, yeah, it was um, yeah a bit a bit bittersweet, but I'm I'm really proud of the way I executed everything yesterday. You know, weirdly enough, it was actually plan A what we did, which never really happens normally. I'm I'm down in kind of plan C's, D's, and E's, so it's it's nice for plan A to be going so well so early. There's a couple of things that I would have changed if it was the perfect world, but you know. As far as uh, an Olympic final, from a mistake standpoint, it was very minimal mistakes. It was just, you know, we ran out of steam a little bit, and that's, I kind of thought that might happen, um, depending on how many people were still left around. I didn't think there would be four people left around at 327 pace, but that's, uh, that's, that was just the reality yesterday, and um, yeah, I, I felt very, very happy with the way I executed, and yeah, plan A was, was weather the storm early and, and, and push that last 200. Really bittersweet for me, I think, you know, achieved a lot of my kind of goals in this sport, you know, Olympic record and, uh, you know, British record, big PB, and uh, obviously the Olympic record wasn't quite one that's going to stand in my name, but it's, um, it's another performance that I was able to execute to the best of my ability and, uh, yeah, just got nipped on the line right there. I think it just shows the, you know, how healthy the 1500 meters is right now and how exciting it is to be a part of it. And, you know, I'm, I'm on the, you know, the podium twice in a row and, and I'm the only one to be able to do that in the last couple of years. So it's, it, yeah, it's hard. It's a hard distance to be in right now, but it's super exciting. And, you know, we're pushing the boundaries all the time and everyone's enjoying watching. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's what you dream of when you're growing up is, you know, being involved in an event that's kind of back and forth like that and, and uh, exciting to watch for everyone. I think the, the rivalry and, and what he's brought as well to, to 1500 meter running is just like all of us are really pushing our boundaries and we know that we have to be at the best of our game to even have a sniff at a big medal and you know, um, you know what we're doing is just letting these other guys know that if you, if you really want to be involved in this conversation then you're going to have to turn up and run record times. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's moved the sport along, uh, it's kept it exciting to watch and you know, I think it will be a, a fun, fun more rivalries coming up in the next four years. But you know, I took a one step further down the rostrum this time and, and uh, if anything it's just going to motivate me for, for the next four years and I think it's, it's going to do me good. I mean, I don't know how much more work I can put in to be honest, this, this camp and this build up has been relentless in everything that we do um, you know my mindset was bulletproof my, my training was consistent um, you know my nutrition my sleep everything I have an army of people that work um, on everything that I do and um, I, I know I did them proud yesterday but I for myself I need to I need to finish that storyline and yeah I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna be a fun four years and it's also it's gonna be quite a hard four years I'm sure as well. 
There were so many Brits in the in the crowd yesterday. I, I want to say there was more Brits than than Frenchers in the uh, in the crowd yesterday. And you know, it was such an honor to be able to have that. I think you know, having a crowd of so many people in the Stade de France yesterday is already an honor. But to have so many British flags out there and all the support and and knowing that people were really behind us yesterday was it was a really cool feeling.